nervous and excited and I can't even get the words. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh my goodness. Welcome back to my channel. I can't even get through the intro to this video. I am so nervous and excited and I can't even get the words. Ah! <laughs> I have been, I've been putting this video off all day because I'm so nervous to do it. I have never seen what's in this box. I, I, I'm not, I'm not normally, I don't normally struggle for words, but I am so excited. Today I have for you, and for me, my first ever Hermes Birkin unboxing. I can't even believe I'm saying those words. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm really excited. I'm really excited, but I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous because <laughs> I've built this up for a long time. This has been on my long-term luxury wish list for a long time. And I'm nervous to now actually see it. I'm also nervous because of how much it costs and I'm just I'm a bit of a mess. Um, I'm also really, really excited. I, I can't believe that I actually have this. I can't believe I actually own this. I can't believe I, I have one of these. I'm still putting it off, opening up the box. So let's get into it. I'm going to unbox this with you today. I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to tell you how I got it. I'm going to explain why I got it that way and how it came about happening. So let's, let's get into it. It is an Hermes, Hermes. I know I'm not gonna be saying that properly, but please bear with me. I'm th <sighs> this is just me on this channel. I'm not trying to be anything, I'm not. So if I don't pronounce it properly, please forgive me. I'm super excited. I have been excited about unboxings before, but I don't think I've ever been this nervous. I've been nervous as well. I was nervous when I was unboxing that Artie Capucines because I didn't know what it was gonna look like. And I was nervous. There's been a few bags I've been a bit like, oh, but <laughs> this this is something else. Okay. Pull yourself together, woman. And let's get. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. I have watched so many people on YouTube hold this box up in this pose and never for one minute did I think that I would be doing it. If you've watched my other channel, Amelia Rose Talks, I talk quite a bit about finance over there and I talk about my background and I don't come from money at all. I never ever ever thought that I would have Louis Vuitton Chanel bags to start with. Absolutely never thought I would have an Hermes bag. So let's show you what is in here and I, oh my goodness me, I will tell you what happened. <sighs> How I got it, where I got it. Oh my God. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my. So she comes in the dust bag. <laughs> Forgetting bits. Oh my goodness. Oh. She is stunning. She is absolutely stunning. This, I, I haven't even checked this bag. I haven't even opened this bag. This is an Hermes Birkin in the size 25. I can't say it, believe I'm saying these words. This is an Hermes Birkin in the size 25 in Togo leather in the color Rose Papri in Palladium hardware. And this is my ultimate all time unicorn, top of my wish list, dream bag. If you look at my bags, I have the purple in the Chanel. I have this color in the Louis Vuitton, which is, we. this is showing up. It's actually really similar. I have also this one. This is my absolute favorite color. I can't, I can't believe, I can't believe I have this bag. So, Wow, you'll have to forgive me for a moment because I haven't I haven't seen her before. Okay, so I have 
had an Hermes Birkin 25, the baby Birkin and a mini Kelly on my wish list for the longest time, but I don't have a huge Hermes profile. I do buy from Hermes what I like. I'm wearing Hermes on my arms. I do have bits from Hermes. I have the blanket. I like some of their homewares. There are things that I really love from Hermes and I will buy what I love, but I will not buy just to buy to build up a profile or just to buy certain categories and kick, tick certain things off lists. I, I just won't do that. And I can't, I can't, I can't really concentrate. I, I won't do that. And I won't also take something that isn't exactly what I want. Now I do have an Hermes wish list in store and it's for a mini Kelly because a mini Kelly on the resale market is above my budget. It's, and I'm going to talk to you about money and how I bought this and everything, but it, so I, please do stick around. I know I normally am keen to see what people get and then don't sometimes always watch the rest of the video, but please stick around and I will explain all of that to you. But I do have an Hermes Mini Kelly on my wish list, and the Mini Kelly's on my wish list one because it's so expensive. Not saying, ooh, <laughs> not saying that's inexpensive, but the Mini Kelly is outside my limit. It's on my wish list, and also because I am more flexible about the Mini Kelly. I would love a Mini Kelly in any bright color, any pop, any in Epsom, or any, I just would love a Mini Kelly in a color. The <laughs> hello, <laughs> the Birkin Twenty Five. I had no flexibility on. I wanted the Birkin 25 in Rose Papri, in Togo, in Palladium, and I didn't want anything else. I didn't want any variation. No, no, no. I didn't want different size. I didn't want different color pink. Didn't want different shade. Didn't want different leather. Wanted exactly this. And I know enough about Hermes, not that I know a huge amount, but I know enough about Hermes to know that's not always how it works. And it's not that you get, unless you get a special order, which I can't see me ever being offered one because I'm not a huge Hermes spender, but you get offered maybe a variation of what you're looking for. I didn't want a variation. I may, I'm 40 years old now. I may only have one Birkin in my whole life. And if that's the case, I'm very blessed and privileged to have one and to have what's behind me. But it may not be that I have a collection of these and I may not have options to keep buying more or to have different colors or different shapes or different sizes. So if, <laughs> if I was gonna have one, hello. <laughs> it was going to be exactly what I wanted. It was going to be my exact specifications, which was this, which was exactly this. I also know that I probably don't spend enough in Hermes to, if I'm lucky enough, get my mini Kelly wish list item and then also get another wish list later on of a Birkin 25 in this color. I probably don't buy enough for that. So I knew that if I had a wish list and if there's a chance of getting any of them, it's probably one. So I reconciled myself and decided that I would buy my baby Birkin, my Birkin 25 from the resale market in exactly the condition specifics that I wanted. Now that meant that I had to wait. Obviously you have to wait on a wish list coming, but I had to wait to get one in my budget with the exact specifications and that was in good condition. So I did not have the funds to buy a brand new Birkin 25 on the resale market. They're very, very expensive. Now, because I wanted a specific color, which is this, and this is not the most popular color, it's not like trying to get black or gold or some of the other neutral colors or Rose Secure or any of those, this doesn't carry quite the same price on the resale market as some of those other bags do. But still, she still be expensive. So when I decided to get one on the resale market, I did my research on Connor from the closet. Thank you so much. Connor helped me so much with this bag because he's really knowledgeable about Hermes and he's also knowledgeable about buying and selling bags. So he helped me loads with this bag. And what came to be the realization was I was not going to be able to get a brand new one. I was not going to be able to get one that had absolutely all of the bits and pieces that it came with. Now I came really close with this one but it was going to be an older bag. And this is, I believe, a C-stamp. It's 2020 bag. They don't have Rose Papri, or they didn't have Rose Papri on the colours that Hermes bring out for the last couple of years. I think 1920 was around about the last time. Now, I think they are coming out with Rose Papri as a seasonal or as a standard colour now, but that meant it was going to be brand new now, and I didn't have the money for that. A brand new one that is only out of the store was above my budget. So I had a budget... <laughs> which was still a huge amount of money, 
and I had to then look. So Connor helped me and we have scored the resale market. He said to me the other day, no, he said to me a couple of months ago, whenever we were talking about one that I nearly bought, he said like, you haven't rushed into this. You have thought it through. Do you know we've been looking for one of these for over six months? And that's now maybe eight to nine months. When he said that, no, I, I hadn't realized that we had been looking that long, but that's how long it took me to find the right one in the right condition at the right price with everything that came with it. There is also one of my lovely followers on Instagram and I don't know if she would want me to give her name but she has been so helpful. She obviously follows the wish list that I have of bags and when she comes across them she will send them on to me and she actually found the seller that we bought that I bought this from and it was a different one that turned out to be Magnolia which is a very slightly different colour but that put me then in line with this or in touch with this seller and they then sourced this for me so thank you so much because it was through you that this came about the seller came about this bag came about so huge thank you for doing that for me I just sometimes I get overwhelmed by how you guys help and reach out and ju it's just amazing and it's one of the beauties about this community and what can come from social media. I should say for anybody that is interested, I bought this from the seller Finkelpuff and I will link their Instagram down below. They have also, I think, was it Lindy's? There was also, when I checked them out and went through and did my due diligence, there was other people that you would know on YouTube that they've sold bags to and sourced bags for. And I did check out their credentials and their reviews and everything before I spent that amount of money, but they were fabulous. The communication was great with through WhatsApp. They sourced this whenever the one that came with Magnolia. I I have no regrets. I It all went very, very well. As I say, yes, above retail, but not at the current price that they can go. And they worked within my budget. I told them how much I could afford and they looked within that. So anybody that's interested, I will leave them down below. And thank you so much to Stephanie from Finkelpuff for sourcing this for me. So as I, I can't stop looking at her, and I can't stop, I can't believe she's mine, and I can't stop grinning. I knew this was the exact bag that I wanted. I had a limit, we set the conditions. I also knew that to buy this bag, I had put money aside. As I say, Connor and I have been looking for months. There has been money aside and growing, putting more money each month to buy one, but I still had an upper limit. And if you've watched my recent video on Ban Island and why I'm on Ban, I Ban Island and why I'm taking a spending freeze and when there'll be no luxury purchases over the summer, she's one of the reasons. <laughs> and I hope you will agree with me that she is absolutely worth it. There are other unboxings to come. I've ticked a few things off my wish list, long term wish list. And that's why I'm on a Ban Island luxury freeze, spend, freeze, no ban month, no buy months. And she's one of the reasons, but I think she's worth it. It's also why I have sold a few bags. There are a few bags gone. And I've sold a few bags to fill back up the account that I keep for luxury spending. Now, to buy this, I didn't go over that account. I don't generally. I I come from having no money. I know what it's like to have to budget and keep things for things. So I will never touch the essentials. I will never touch the accounts that are for life and mortgage and children and holidays and those sorts of things. Will not do it for luxury shopping. That's just me. That's just the way I do it. And it comes from having been there with absolutely no money. And I am I'm very strict when it comes to keeping things separate. So the account that this came from was my luxury spending account. And it... <laughs> came lower than, when I bought this, it went lower than I have had it in a very long time. And I said in that Ban Island video, it's uncomfortably low for me. And it just made me a bit uncomfortable. So I have sold a few bags to fill up the funds from this one because my husband said to me, we well, don't need to buy it. And I know I don't need to sell them, but I feel more comfortable. This is this is not easily bought. There is This is very expensive, even being pre-loved and not brand new and not at the top of the market. It's still very, very expensive for me. And I just, I need to feel comfortable with her and I need to feel comfortable with what I paid for it. And to do that, I have sold a few bags to bring some monies back in. I also want to thank Lorna from Lorna Style. So this bag came with everything she, and I'll show you inside in a minute. She had the box. The only thing that this one didn't have is the pillow that the bag normally lies on. I don't keep my bags in boxes, so I'm not too worried about that. And if you watch that video, there's a handbag room being built. I know there's a lot of crazy goes on around here. Um, and there's there are a lot more, there are more unboxings to come. So yes, there's a lot of crazy comes. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe. But anyway. So this didn't have the pillow, but the one that I had found before this through the help of my friend on Instagram had found one before this that didn't have a box. 
Now it turned out to be that whenever the seller got it in it was actually magnolia and I was set on rose papri. This is the only colour I wanted. And Lorna from Lorna Style has a special edition, no, a, a special order, Birkin 25. Wait to hear how kind this girl is. Hers is in Magnolia and it has a beautiful striking blue interior. I'm going to link her unboxing video of her special order down below because check that out next, it's fabulous bag. But I had been talking to her about buying this pre-loved and buying it on the resale market. She was hesitant at first because of the cost, but all in all, I have to say the girls, the Paris girls have been really supportive and Lorna herself understood when I have such specific requirements for what I wanted and I'm not going to get a special order and I do have a mini Kelly on my wish list that this for me, not saying it's for everybody because they're very, very expensive and there is a markup even when you buy one not brand new, but for me, this was the way to go. So the one that was coming that we thought was Rose Papri that turned out to be Magnolia, whenever it came, there was no box with it. Lorna shipped up the box from her special order with everything in it, the pillow, the raincoat, everything, everything in the box and shipped it to me because she wanted for me that whenever I got my first Birkin through the resale market that I had the full experience and I had the full set and I had the full box and everything that came with it and that just blew me away. I think that was so kind to give up the box and people will say if they're not crazy handbag people but it's only a box. I keep all my boxes so I don't think it's only a box. She gave that up posted it to me with everything in it so as I could have the full experience. Now when that one then Magnolia one was Magnolia and we went back and the seller then sourced this one for me. It does come with the box and everything and I'm going to ship Lorna's box back to her because I think she should have it but I am blown away with the gesture of her sending it to me so Lorna thank you for that. Let's have a look. First time I'm ever opening her up. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. I feel like, and I know I'm gonna be a bit over, overly excited for some people, but I don't care. I am I am just, I'm so excited. So this one is a C stamp. They did send me, whenever I was buying it, a copy of the stamp. It is in there somewhere. I don't even know exactly where you look to find the stamp, which I believe is either 2019 or 2020. I think it's 2020. It comes with everything. So it has in it the little, Pochette, is that how you say that? So it is in its own little dust bag and in, oh, it's the colour, it's the colour. And it has the little lock that comes on it. Now the lock is obviously also in palladium because, now I generally, I do really like gold hardware and rose gold hardware, but against the colour of this bag, I thought that the palladium just popped more against it. And that's a conversation I had with Connor as well. And I, th I think that's, just for me is why I went for the palladium. So it has this, it comes with everything. It has the little dust bag or the little raincoat that comes with it that I don't think has ever been unwrapped or used. And it has a copy of the receipt. So this one came with complete full set, came with everything. And that makes me happy because I wasn't able to just go into the boutique and get this. And yes, that would have been lovely, but I didn't want any variation and I, Stickers are still intact, intached. Do stickers be intached? No, they don't. Stickers are still attached to the hardware. The stickers are still on the feet down below. I just can't, ah, wow, mummy. Ah, mummy. No, not mummy, she'd have a fit at the broadcast of this bag. It is the normal Birkin inside, which I now know is an open space inside. It has a zip at the back. It has a little zip pocket, which is here. And then it has a slip pocket at the front here. Now I will probably buy a, I don't know where the stamp is, I'm sorry. I will probably use this bag like this. I don't think that this bag will be done up with these pulled through and I know how to do it since I've just taken them off but I don't think I'll, I'll carry it closed. Maybe if I was traveling or going through somewhere that I was a bit worried or a bit conscious of security, I think I will carry her like this and I will show you, I'll take some footage and show you of me holding her and having her <laughs> and loving her. Oh, I don't even, I, I don't care that some bags had to go. I am 
beyond delighted with my choice and I appreciate that to buy one of these pre-loved, pre-loved, which is meant to save you money, is still a huge amount of money and I saved for a long time for it and as I say, there's a spending for spree, uh, I can't speak. <laughs> there's definitely not a spending spree coming. There's a spending freeze, but I just love her. And for me, and I think it's an individual choice. For me, it was worth it to get exactly the specifications I wanted. I was willing to let some things go. I was willing to have months then with no buy. I was willing to wait and I was willing to have one that's not brand new. Now this was sold as pre-loved, like new condition, but and I can't see any, anywhere at all on this bag. I can't see any signs of use. I can't, I can't, it's just, it's perfect. It just, there's no signs of wear or anything on the handles. I did look at another one that had handle wear on it. This doesn't have any. And as I say, everything is intact. It's just beautiful. That's why I chose to go to the resale market. That's how I am paying for it, going to the resale market. If you are going to the resale market, I think it's important you set a limit because I did nearly a couple of times get carried away above my limit. And I had to have a real word with myself. <laughs> She's stunning. I love you. You're going to fit in just well. The Bergen 25 doesn't really fit on the crook of your arm. I can, I'm, have, I'm only 5'1", so I can get it through my arm, but I don't carry bags on the crook of my arm, so that's not really a problem for me. I am going to take some footage and put it in. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel because if I had bought this bag before I had this channel, I would have melted Bestie's head about it. But there really wouldn't have been very many people to talk, there wouldn't have been anybody else to talk to about it. If I'm blunt, I couldn't have admitted it to anybody else. I certainly couldn't have shared my joy at it. I couldn't have been an excited mess about it. I couldn't have showed it. I couldn't take pictures of it. And that's all thanks to you guys coming and showing up on this channel and on my Instagram. So thank you so, so, so much for being here. Thank you for, just thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.